Well, these challenges just seem to keep getting easier and easier, while the cars that we have to drive to complete them keep getting more random and maybe somewhat annoying, some would say. Although the Volvo 850R, it sounds like a pretty cool sports car, realistically it's just your grandpa's old wagon. So we can make it a sleeper, and that's exactly what you have to do for the first part of it, just drive the car, sleeper, that is it, that's complete. The main thing I'm bringing you today is a tune for the Volvo 850R. This makes the car a lot of fun to drive, really good handling. The only weakness will be the braking, and you're going to see some gameplay so you know that I'm not just giving you some random tune for you to download that you're going to hate and find to be completely useless because I don't do that. I actually make good tunes that people will enjoy. So we're going to need to win four road circuit events. You want to filter on your map for the road racing series and make sure you find a circuit race location. Not a sprint race, a circuit. So this is probably my favorite circuit to do. It's one that everyone gets pretty early on, and it's where I completed all four of my races. So the quickest way to complete this, you don't have to do it this way. You can easily do just the race that Horizon presents to you, but if you blueprint it, you can make it under the event settings one lap and obviously I would just leave it in spring there's no reason to change anything else around but we are gonna have to win so once you get to the event and set everything up definitely put your difficulty to new racer if you feel like you need to that's the difficulty you're seeing in this race right here so don't think this car is so much better than unbeatable drive avatars now yes I did test it against unbeatable drive avatars and it will spank them but for the newer players in this game the people who aren't as good just wanted to show you how you will destroy the easier drive avatars and the easier difficulty drive avatars. So, this car handles excellent. It is all wheel drive. It has the stock motor, uh, race transmission. Just because I want to make the gearing faster, change the gearing ratios and all that. But I wanted to leave the stock motor because generally I don't like to do any kind of crazy swaps or anything like that. But I felt like for sleeper status with this car, it had to be all-wheel drive. Now, it is turboed, but honestly the thing that will probably surprise you the most about the car is the way my tune handles. This thing even surprised me a little bit, being a super long wagon as you can see. The handling is pretty good and it's quick. I mean, with the all-wheel drive it launches fast and most people probably wouldn't expect an A-class Volvo that looks like this to perform the way it does. So. That is it though, you just do the same race four times, it'll just keep restarting you at the starting point of that race. Do that four times, and the second challenge, a state tourer, will be complete. Now the third challenge, it's another easy one, you literally just have to drive 12 miles. Does that sound difficult? All you have to do is drive, just take the car and go. That's all you gotta do. So, I just drove around the map, pretty much around the perimeters, and obviously the straightaways where you can drive faster, is going to allow you to complete this more quickly because you're going to maintain more speed, right guys? Right? We all know this, right? <laughs> so the final one, and I don't know why I'm even explaining any of these because they're all so easy, but five ultimate drift or e-drift skills. So you can use your handbrake to go into an e-drift, and that's probably recommended with my tune, my setup, because my car was meant to be super grippy and handle really well. It was not tuned for drifting at all, but if you hit the handbrake, and go sharp around turns, I mean, it, it'll drift. It, you can make any car drift if you really wanted to. So that is it, though, for this Forzathon Sport Wagon. The main thing is really hope you enjoy my tune for the Volvo 850R. If you have any questions whatsoever, just let me know in the comment section. But as always, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a wonderful week. Peace.